So yes ladies and gentlemen kuna huyu msichana ambaye anaitwa Rosa Rosalina huyu msichana ambaye anaitwa Rosa Rosalina ametufanya kuwa proud kama wa Afrika of course amesababisha tukuwe na mfano mzuri kama sisi kama wa Afrika kwa ujumla sio Kenya peke yake sio Uganda peke yake sio Tanzania peke yake bali ni Afrika kwa jumla ametuonyesha mfano ambao ni wa kuigwa yani ni mfano ambao kila mtu anafaa kuwe proud na ile kazi ambayo afanya nafikiri ni mmoja wa watu kwa baadhi ya watu ambao kidogo wamefanya ikaonekana kazi ya kufanya kazi kiukadama sio kazi mbaya na sio kazi ya kudharauliwa kwa sababu kuna watu wengi sana ambao walikuwa wanapenda kudharau sana kazi ya kuwa kadama of course watu wanafaa wafahamu ya kwamba kwa kazi kufanya kazi ya kuwa kadama si jambo rahisi na sio jambo dogo ni kazi ambayo ni kubwa na ni kazi ambayo inalisha familia nyingi sana na ni kazi ambayo inakufanya utegemewe nyumbani so si kazi ambayo mtu anafaa dharau ama si kazi ambayo mtu anafaa ichukulie rais rais kabisa vile baba watu wanaichukulia. Of course yule msichana wetu ametuonyesha mfano mzuri na kitu ambacho nitamsifia ni kitu moja. Kitu gani unajua? Hakuwa msichana wa tamaa. Baada ya yote yale aliyotokea akasifiwa na kila mtu baada ya kuwa amepewa deals ambazo hata angekaa Kenya bado still angepata unga wake na angeendelea kuishi na watoto wake. Still bado kuna kampuni ambayo ilikuwa imekubali kumchukua kumpeleka Canada that is ili ende akafanye kazi. Wengine wamekubali kumpeleka Canada ili akatembee. Wengine wamekubali kumchukua ili akwe kama role model wa kufanya kitu fulani kwa advertise product fulani tuna hata Masai Mara pia alikuwa amechukua hii safari siku kumfanya unaona ma vitu vingi ambavyo angekaa Kenya i'm very much 100% asingeteseka na angepata kazi na angeajiriwa na labda angefanya kazi ambayo ingemlisha hata vile zaidi ya kule ambako amerudi lakini kwa sababu ya yeye hakuwa na tamaa na yajua kitu gani kilimfanya mpaka watu wakamsifia akafika pale mpaka watu wakamfahamu kama Rozi alibidi arudi kazini aendelee akafanya kazi na one of the posts ambayo nimeona kutoka kwake ni kwamba hafanyi kazi kwa bidii yani anakuambia don't do hard work usifanye ile kazi na nguvu ifanye smart that's a very big point yani usifanye kazi na bidii ati mfanye kazi utoke jasho uonyeshe watu kwamba wafanya kazi no do it smart yani unaifanya kiusta ya rabu yani kiusta ili fili ambayo inafaa kufanya kwa umeambia ufage hapa paka pale Make sure pale mahali umepafanya vizuri clean smart rather than umefa hapa kapale ufanye nguvu ufaje haraka haraka lakini baadaye unapata kuna vitu vitu fulani that's a big point ambayo msichana ametupea ya kwamba usifanye kazi na nguvu fanya kazi kiurahisi lakini uhakikishe umefanya ile kazi vizuri yani do it smart congratulations rozi kwa sababu umetuonyesha mfano bora mfano wa kuigwa mfano ambao sio watu kidogo sio watu wengi ambao angeweza kufanya kama wewe. Ya kuna mifano mingi sana ambayo tumeonyeshwa na uzuri na kubalia kwamba ameonyesha mifano mingi ambayo yeye mwenyewe kabisa yashulikia watoto wake personal kids kutoka nao outing kwenda nao kuwafanyia shopping kufanya hivi ameonyesha il love hata kwa watoto wake. Of course watu wengi sasa hii kiukweli kabisa watu wengi ambao wanataka kufanya show wanataka kupata mtu wafanye kazi ndani ya manyumba zao huwa wanatafuta wale wasichana na ambao wamezaa kwa sababu anajua kabisa huyu yajua uchungu wa uzazi na kwa sababu yajua uchungu wa uzazi anaweza keti na mtoto wangu ama anaweza keti na familia yangu vizuri na tukaishi vizuri salama naweza nikamwacha mtoto nikaenda zangu kazini na nikarudi nikapata mtoto wangu yuko salama so kuna sababu nyingi sana ya, kwa, ya hawa watu ama mnahitaji wenyewe ma ma, ma waichitu ama ni huyo 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 wana sababu nyingi sana ya kutaka mfanyaji kazi ambaye ashajifungua Of course haimaanishi ati hawataki wafanyikazi ambao hawajajifungua ndani ya nyumba. Wengine pia wana wakipata kama wao watachukua it's okay. But wale ambao wanataka watoto wao ndio washirikiwe ama wale ambao wanaajiri mfanyaji kazi house girl kwa sababu ya watoto wao au wanatamani ama wanataka ama wana insist watafutiwe watu ambao wako na mtoto na hiyo ni moja ya qualification ambayo Rozi alikuwa amepita kwa sababu ya tayari nyumbani alikuwa na mtoto na kwa sababu amesafiri kule pia ameshikishwa na watoto na ule upendo alikuwa yonyesha watoto wake ndio upendo ambaye alionyesha watoto wa kule na ndio maana wale watoto wakao wanampenda sana Rozi hata kuliko mama yao kwa nini tusim congratulate why mbona tusim congratulate I think everyone has to gather here and congratulate this lady. Hata yeye mwenyewe akipita kiona kama yongelewa kama hivi, akipitia comments hivi, yona ah of course uh, people do congratulate me because I did something good. I represented my country, my continent. At least watu wasioni ya kwamba waafrika wote ni wabaya ama wakenya wote ni wabaya. Ni moja ya sababu ambazo zinatuonyesha ama zinawafanya watu wengine wa watu angale kwa jicho lingine jicho la pili bali na lile jicho ambapo kwa kitu angalia mara kwanza kama si ni wanyongaji wauaji 
watu ambao watujifahamu watu ambao sisi tuachukia waarabu people ambao we are not hard working we don't love kids ame ame ametoa hiyo kasumba amegeuza sasa hii so lazima tu appreciate if you are not going to appreciate her today when are we going to appreciate her again are we waiting for her to fall down alafu ndo tunaanza kusema she used to be a certain and certain so let's appreciate her of course uh, na tuseme pia yule madam wako ambaye ya kushirikia yule madam wako naye pia lazima tumpe congratulation yake pia ye naye kwa sababu hakuona haya ama hakuona ubaya ya kusema kukwambia live mbele ya kamera na yajuazi kabisa watu wengi wataona na ameongea kizungu ni whether that the whole world ambao wanaelewa at least they are going to understand the benefit of you being with her na akamwambia live kabisa ya kwamba bana I cannot live without you. Come I back, Rosie. I can't live without you for real. Really. I just I you are safe staying with me. See how much that lady is paying you but I wish angeza uh, kukuongeza mshahara kwa sababu you are a wonderful lady. You can imagine venye ambavyo watoto wanakushangilia. Au unachunge kwa wewe watu mimi watoto wako vibaya. Watoto wako unawashulikia vibaya. Wewe mama singewe kushulikia hivi. Like kwa sababu you are a lovely mother wewe mwenye kwa sababu you are a mother and you are a lovely too as a mother ndio paka wale watoto nao pia wanakupenda kwa sababu wawapenda na waonyeshe upendo wa that ni that paka wanamkata mama yao wanakufuata wewe it's not a big it's not a big joke so i'm addressing you rozi na pia bado na address wale wengine pia ambao wanataka kuwa kama wewe na wengine pia wale ambao wanakale ka wivo jo binadamu tuko pamoja tuko sote pamoja kuna wengine wanakusifia na wengine bado wanakutakia baya na hakuna siku moja ambayo utasifiwa na kila mtu that you have to understand lazima utakuwa na watu ambao watakukritisize kwa kile kitu ambacho utakifanya of course hata ukafanya vipi mazuri yote lazima kuna kile kidudu mtu ambacho kitasema mtu fulani yafanya vitu hivi na hivi ili ajionyeshe ili afanye hivi na hivi it's a good example mimi na light tusingepata hivi doma light tusingepata hizi footage za rozi kwa airport kusafirishwa nini na nini zile ya watoto wakimshangilia tusingefika point ya kwamba tunamuongelelea sasa hii ama tunamuongelea ili kwa advice watu wengine wawe kama yeye It's a good thing that uh, we are talking about a lady ambaye ameonyesha mfano Afrika nzima na sio Kenya peke yake na kuwa mfano kwa kadama wote wa nchi zote tofauti tofauti na sio Kenya peke yake. So it's a good uh, example for sure. Mm-hmm. Na kuambia tu my fans eh, Rozi pia Rozi kama Rosilina ana uh, YouTube channel yake na pia yajita Mama Rozi if I'm not wrong. Follow this lady at least eh, boom, subscribe ye, kwa sababu acha tumpe maua yake akiwa bado yuko hai. Tusisubiri mpaka anzi. Ah ah. Atusisema mabaya lakini tusisubiri mpaka mabaya yamtokee alafu ndio tuanze kumtafuta. Tutaka tumsaidie. Tumuonyeshe upendo angali bado yuko hai. Tumuonyeshe upendo angali bado yuko na sisi. Tumuonyeshe upendo angali bado yuko pale kwa ile position ambayo imemfanya tumfahamu tumjue usio. And uh, this is KG Chipande guys please make sure that you subscribe like and share.